there were a lot of moments where it looked like my personality had disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> I was hard to reach and I didn't communicate, but the overall change, they would say I've become the woman that I deserve to be. Oh gosh, what was this? Oh right, um, this was my speech. Oh, this was written July. I was invited to meet Camilla. This was when I initially teamed up with Refuge. I'm a woman who experienced abuse, but I stand here not as a victim, but as a survivor. Some would say I was the class clown, so always came with the jokes, always came with the banter. Um, I was friends with absolutely everyone and anyone who was willing to be my friend. It started off, um, you know, you meet someone for the first time, you get to know them. Bubbly personality, bouncing back and forth, you know, the energy. I just thought this person is an, is an amazing person. But quite quickly into that, things kind of just changed. Initially, it was quite easy to ignore small things, maybe shoving me if I said something or, you know, kicking me if I spoke back to them and they weren't happy. After, I'd say about, 10 to 12 months, things start to, started to take a turn where I couldn't ignore it anymore. There was one specific incident where I had literally done what I would say absolutely nothing. I had nudged them as I was passing them and that was a disrespect and they completely lashed out where they repeatedly were just hitting me, hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. I did not tell anyone about it for a period of time. I felt embarrassed, I was like, how do I bring this up? I eventually did go to the police and I told them everything and it took about five hours um, detailing every incident and that's when things started from there. After five months, Erica had heard nothing back from the police. Then, in September 2020, she found out why. Although she'd spent hours giving evidence, they were never going to be able to look into it anyway. They said, oh sorry, we just looked at the date of the incident that you wanted to report and it looks like we won't be able to do anything anyway. And I said, why? Um, and they said, there's a six month time limit on reporting common assault. I felt so hopeless and helpless and broken. I called my friend, um, bless her, she picks up straight away and I just told her everything whilst crying to her on the phone. Um, and I said, I have to do something about this. I, I'm not the sort of person just to just sit on things or to accept things. I, rather, I would rather act. And if that action can lead to a result that benefits other people, that's the most important thing to me. So within 10 minutes, I knew I needed to change this law. And I spent the next three, four days just sitting in my room. I, I, don't, I don't even think I left my house at this point. I don't think any domestic violence victim should be told after six months that they were too late. That's what this campaign is about. We fight for change. Erica had done a lot of the work already. She started the petition. She had set up a campaign, but she needed that help to, to get more attention on it and to to make sure politicians were aware of the problem and the need to act. So we were delighted when Erica got in touch with us to ask for our support. I, alongside Refuge, Women's Aid and the Centre of Women's Justice, are urging the government to extend these time limits. What I wanted to do using Refuge's platform was to be the voice for the people who had shared their stories, or even if they hadn't, who knew they had gone through these things. And I said, oh my gosh, I have this campaign. Let's work together. I've already got a lot of people behind me. You have a lot of people behind me. If we collide these two worlds, we'd be unstoppable. Let's talk to Erica Osakwe, as a student, an organiser and survivor of domestic violence. It is about a perpetrator saying to a young woman like Erica, oh, good luck, nothing's going to happen. Erica Osakwe, who set up a campaign group for victims of violence. It made me feel hopeful. I think that's the first time I really felt hope and I had hope that something was really going to be done. And it was from there where all these doors opened up, Yvette Cooper stepping in, and the journey began.
In particular, I want to raise new clause 69 in my name. The purpose of this amendment is to get justice for victims of domestic abuse who are being timed out. I drew up an amendment to the Police and Courts Bill to actually put forward that amendment in Parliament. There is a time limit on justice that most victims are not aware of, of six months from the offence, even though in domestic abuse cases it may take many months for good reason for victims to feel able to go to the police. I worked with Baroness Helen Newlove in the House of Lords. The time limit in his current farm is putting victims in harm's way. She also did the same thing in the House of Lords to draw up an amendment to keep the pressure on the government and we just kept the pressure up. An unfair six-month time limit. There's a six-month um, limit for charges being brought. A six months time limit. Until finally, I think we forced them to agree that this had to change. On the 4th of January 2022, the law changed. The time limit to report domestic abuse has extended from six months to two years. Erica stood where I'm standing now and with humility and profound courage, told us how she'd used her experience of an abusive relationship to campaign successfully to change the law. This was not just a win for me, but a win for every single person that had been let down and the impact it had on so many people and so many lives in that moment. The day I shared that news was astonishing, completely mind-blowing. This law change will make a real difference. There will be thousands of survivors every year, most of them women, who, if they decide to, can report the assault that they've experienced at the hands of their perpetrator to the police and won't need to fear that the police are going to say, sorry, we can't do anything because of a very short six month time limit that doesn't reflect the realities of domestic abuse. Sky News sent out FOI requests to every police force in England. The 29 forces who responded said that in the first five months of 2022, 8,245 incidents of domestic abuse had been reported between six months and two years after the abuse took place. That means that already over 8,000 incidents of domestic violence are now being dealt with by the police because of Erica and campaigners like her. There was moments where I knew I wanted to give up, where I just wanted to crawl into my bed and never come out and never fight for anything. I didn't think that my voice had any meaning or strength or power, nothing. I wish I valued myself more back then and realised more that I am powerful. A few weeks ago, the government announced that the six month time limit was to be increased for survivors of domestic abuse. Me, a young woman from London, I, I changed, changed the, the law. law. You know, I, have, I don't think I've said that much. That might be like the third time I've said that out loud. So yeah, it's weird saying it, but yeah. <laughs> wow.